Hey buddies, what's happening? Uh, well, happening a lot to me today. My 350QX here totally pooped out on me, unfortunately. I mean, it fell literally friggin' 40, 50 feet out of the sky, hit the concrete extremely hard. Uh, the reason being was not pilot failure like we always say and like to do. But what happened is basically these props here, these props break. And it happens to me today, like to many other uh, QX flyers, um, there are two different props out there. Uh, Bear Horizon released that particular version here of the QX. Uh, I think they had an A type prop the A is basically marked or used to be marked right on top here so and they had some issues with that they ripped apart broke really easy all kinds of stuff uh, I have seen and heard on YouTube and any other forums so Horizon upgraded these to much stronger uh, B type props well my QX came already with B-type props and it's always the red ones which are breaking and looking at my little prop here and it is a B it's a B-type prop right there and I don't know what's happening it was weird. I mean, I was flying around, everything was fine. Hovering steady, like always. I flew in green mode, a little bit further out. I had my awesome contour camera mounted on it, just to check on speed and altitude and all that kind of stuff, which I'm gonna do with this camera, which is nothing else than the GoPro. And while descending on the altitude, suddenly, this thing cracked, it flipped over, it went crazy, I mean totally uncontrollable and it crashed back onto this uh, concrete landing pad for helicopters where I was flying at the park down there and it shattered the whole thing apart. That's basically what you see, uh, totally disassembled now, uh, I made another video how I did that. I totally degutted everything sitting right here so that's the heart of the QX as well as a lot of electronics I've been trying to be as careful as possible I did some checks before uh, while I was on the phone with Horizon and uh, customer service basically he got me through I want to hear some certain sounds and it seems like the electronics are okay so we didn't have any issues while I was doing the pre-test also, my battery survived pretty good. There's no issue. You see, I got a teeny tiny ding right there. But that's pretty much it. So, that means I didn't get puffy. I didn't shorten out anything. The electronics work perfectly. But, this is just sad. It was a beautiful day up here in Oregon. And I was going to do some FPV flying, you know, and some nice recording and nice sceneries. And five minutes into the play, well, Kaveng, that's what happened. I wish that Horizon is gonna look at that uh, pretty closer because I'm not the only one who has that issue. Many, many other guys got the same issue. And, you know, I, I just thinking of it, I was 30, 40, 50 feet maybe in the air, you know, and this thing crashed down. Luckily, I was flying around the park, but the QX is made for FPV flying. If you think about it, uh, just to, let's say you fly around your house, you know, you got this beautiful new solarium built, everything has been made of glass, you know, and you want to see and show the folks what you just did, and you fly around with the QX and suddenly the prop fails, and you crash that thing really out of 60, 70, 80 feet up in the air. 
if not even higher, into your glass solarium. I mean, you can cause some damage once, and second of all, I mean, if glass splitters and hurt someone, I mean, it is, that could be bad. Just seeing here the safety factor. So I wish that Horizon really looks into it, the material composition of the red ones. Uh, coming out of the uh, material, I mean, I'm an engineer from metallurgy, but I did a lot of plastic in my life as well. And it seems to be that the red ones are in the material composition are slightly different than the gray ones. I have not found a single report that a single gray one broke. I mean, suddenly, unless they're gonna crush it really hard. The red ones, they got a problem. They are, I don't know. That's something for the engineers to look into it. But I would highly recommend have a look at this Verizon and yeah, figure something out because that could be dangerous right there. Anyway, I still love my QX and. Uh, while I'm waiting for my replacement parts from Horizon, I just want to go ahead tomorrow and gonna go down to the hobby shop and get me the new body here for 35 bucks and put this puppy together so I can uh, enjoy this weekend. Don't want to wait another week until everything arrives. Uh, unfortunately, I lost one of the rubber bullets here for my camera, but I think I should be alright somehow or just simply not flying FPV. Anyway. Um, that was my comment to the prep issue on the Blade 350QX. Alright, uh, hope I see you guys later and next video should be if this little puppy is back up in the air. Alright, bye bye.